Hi, hello everyone, my name is Mr. Fruit, and welcome to our Minecraft Hardcore world. That's right, if you watched our Day 100 video, we have now since made it to Day 200. Very exciting. So this is the entrance to the kingdom. If you saw Day 100, this will all look familiar. Ignore the block. We had a little creeper incident recently. I haven't replaced it. Not important. Screw it. Oh, je Jesus! My house! The kingdom lives on. And in day 100, we didn't have a house. But from day 100 to 200, I made sure to rectify said problem. Now we do have a house. And not just some small, silly little house. No, if I was going to wait this long, not have a house, and then finally build one, well, then we'd have to build a house. A real house. A decent house. We're not going to skimp on it. And ladies and gentlemen... Skimp on it, we did not. Welcome to the Pagoda! It's not a Pagoda, it's the Pagoda. Also, you like our little spruce forest? As you can tell, we needed a lot of spruce. So I went out, found some spruce, came back, planted a little forest we got going on here. I love this biome and the leaves, so I'm actually really excited about this. I think I'm gonna make straight up like a little mini biome forest around me. Um, in this, what would normally just be regular old plains, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it just looks sick, and you can't, you can't argue me. Check out the roof, though. That thing, practically the death of me. Jesus. Oh, God. New, 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 uh, new dirt net. Commence. That nerd. Erect it. Nighttime. Here. Bed. Approaching. Sleeping. Commence. Affirmative. One, two, three. We gotta go down, sir. One. Further, but I can't. We'll work on that later. Dirt net needs to be extended. Copy. Ah! This entire house was practically the death of me. In fact, we've come closer to dying building this house than we have any other way so far in this hardcore series. So, yeah, maybe not my best idea because I'm a smarty pants and didn't have any feather falling the entire time we built this. And you're going to see when you go up there, like, oh, yeah, wow, this is high. This is, you will die if you fall from here high. And it's just because I spent pretty much day 100 to 200 literally building. Yeah, boy, didn't have any enchanting levels. I had, like, no XP. So I couldn't really roll, and it's, we took, we rolled the dice several times. It nearly killed us several times. Look at this thing. I'm so happy about it. I know what you're thinking. Wait, like. You had like a medieval kingdom, but now you got like feudal Japan going on here. Like what's going on? We're mixing some things. You know what I'm saying? And I think because of that, we're going to throw in some, well, we got to make the walls higher, I think. But then also throw in some spruce into the walls to match it all. Tie it all together. Use some more spruce. Like replace all this oak wood, wherever it is with some spruce. I, I made some of it a little too intricate. Like this roof design. That's what almost ended up killing us. In fact, we did fall once. And I nearly pooped myself because we were high enough, well high enough to die. And this is that moment. <gasps> I can't. We got. I thought that was it, dude. <sighs> so I pooped myself figuratively, not quite literally, but I was darn near close. This is the Pagoda, my friends. So we've got that going for ourselves. I haven't decided if I want to do these lanterns on each corner going up. Pretty sure I do, but we're going to need a lot more glowstone. So I got to go back to the nether soon, which I'm going to be doing because I finally got a looting sword. So we're going to go to the nether, try and find some wither skulls and summon the wither here soon. And fight that bad boy. We even rolled, um, or we combined it with smite too. So when we do fight wither skeletons and the wither boss, uh, we'll be doing extra damage. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, here we have our cows, chickens, the usual. Farm stayed the same. This was originally where I had my scaffolding while we built. And a pond at the bottom in case I fell from the scaffolding, which I did several times. Wow. <gasps> I need to dye a lot of these sheep. I have one green sheep, but I need to dye them all. And then I eventually want to make like an automatic wool farmer bamboo here this isn't where it's gonna stay but i was growing bamboo for the scaffolding we needed which i didn't know scaffolding existed until i started building this so helpful it's giant it's massive it's unnecessary i wouldn't have it any other way so you're gonna come you're gonna see the first floor here we haven't done any interior decorating yet because it took us literally i think about 16 to 17 hours to finish this build so not easy and then if you include the basement which i'll show you soon over 20 hours 
was not easy, and now you can understand why it took me from day 100 to 200 to complete this build. We threw glowstone in here because I'm a huge fan of glowstone. I love the ambiance, and when you look in between the slats at night, oof. Nice. Don't know what we're going to do with the first level, but initially with some of these levels, we're going to need a bedroom. We're going to need an enchanting room, brewing, cooking, smelting. Yeah, I, I don't really know. We're, we're going to find out. So I still haven't moved the enchanting. Like I said, that'll go up eventually. The only remaining thing we had from our like template of a build of our house from day 100 are the wine cellars. I like them. They're probably not going to stay, but they're here for now. But what I'm going to do surrounding the pagoda is build a marketplace because I'm going to try and get villagers into my town. Apparently it's pretty difficult, but I do have a village right over there that I'm going to try and take all the villagers, kidnap them myself. Then we'll have our own villager job uh, farm and that'll be cool. And we'll actually have like villagers in our kingdom. We have a little waterfall here, double waterfall. I really like this. We're actually going to turn it in. I haven't found kelp for source blocks, but I was told you can make an actual like water elevator with um, soul sand at the bottom. And if you make it a source block, it'll lift you up. And then opposite, if we put a magma block at the bottom at the bottom of the waterfall as a source block, then it'll bring you down. So we'll have actual elevators. Here we have a farm level. Three by three. We could have done four by four, but I like to have a little bit of walkways here. This is kind of unnecessary. We already have farms, and there's really nothing we need that much. So it's going to be more for aesthetic purposes. Vanity, as is most of this building, but that's not the point vanity aesthetics it's all incredibly necessary you can go out on the roofs if you want you'll see higher up um it's high up honestly makes me a little queasy we have another floor just similar to the base floor where again we'll need to do some interior decorating not entirely sure what i want to do here guess what we go up again and you'll see like we have like planks here like this i have to fix this the higher we get, though, that's the village I was talking about. The higher we get, the uh, the slower my game runs. It's like, bruh, we're trying, dude. Bruh. Coming up. You guessed it. Another one, except this one's another farm level, and we have more nether wart than a man could ever, ever need. But I think it looks pretty funny. Uh, it's a bit over the top, as is everything I've been doing in this hardcore series. And I love it. I'm really happy with it. I, I'm kind of where it kind of sounds like we might have some mobs up in the roof and wouldn't you know it We got one more and another level right before the roof I think this is the last one before the roof and yeah, as you can see we're a little high here Had to make a, another puddle as well when we were building up that saved my life a couple times now We're gonna come up here. I don't know if mobs can spawn up here yet Okay We seem to be all right for now um this is the roof. This is not completely done. I love the little slope in here, though. We had to make it nice and steep. You got the little antler-looking things on the side. All in all, really happy with it. I think the payoff is fantastic, and I will say, if I ever lose this hardcore world, I think I'll die IRL. So that's all a work in progress. But this is the Pagoda. It took so long to make. Hopefully, you guys think it was worth it. I think it was worth it. But... We didn't finish there. As soon as we finished the Pagoda, our work wasn't done because my inventory management, storage compartments, everything was atrocious. Ew! We needed the storage room. And originally I was like, well, I'll just make one of those, one of the levels, you know, above a storage room. But no, again, we got to be extra. So if you head down into the basement, oh, ho, ho, ho. welcome to the storage basement, my friends, our storage room. You're going to see here. Boom. Compartmentalized. All itemized. Reasonably, right? So, like, this is iron ore blocks. We don't have much, though. But this would be lighting. So we have glowstone, campfires, lanterns, torches if we need it. This is all ore. Diamonds, emeralds, gold. This is sandstone. So sandstone, clay, which you can get from sand. Sand, bricks, you know, all that kind of stuff. This is nature. So flowers, saplings. This is mob drops. So anything you can get from mobs. This would be uh, logs. This is building material. So more specifically like scaffolding and ladders. This is all wool and dye. This is miscellaneous crafting things. So like furnaces, crafting tables, um, bells, because that was kind of miscellaneous. This is our enchanting. This is our brewing. This is our little nether corner. That's fishing. Um, railroads, miscellaneous. Come over here. We got uh, flint and all that good stuff. Redstone, lapis, coal. Um, this is just like stuff you get from farms. Uh, food. Drops from animals, seeds, armor, tools, cobblestone. We have way too much cobblestone. Uh, planks, 
This is stone. This is building materials from wood. This is dirt, which is completely full. I have way too much dirt. Windows stuff, sticks, um, and then other mining blocks. And then, of course, like I said, you got to do everything a little bit extra. A lava wall. Because why not? And was the lava wall worth it? I'm not really sure. We almost lost our entire building. Now we just need to get a whole bunch of sand. <gasps> Never mind. Never mind. Ah! No! 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 And I'm not sure if the waterfall elevator will save it because if this gets on fire, that would go straight up to our house, which is also incredibly flammable. So you might be thinking to yourself, what if a thunderstorm comes? We're screwed. Well, over here we have our trash compactor down here. We can throw stuff away if we need it to in the lava depths below. We have to put it down far enough below as well because the the little plumes or whatever that come out of lava also can set that on fire. Yeah, real great idea working with a whole bunch of wood, Mr. Fruit. Totally don't see how that could backfire on us. Oh, wait, it does all the time. But the patterns, the, the ceiling pattern, all in all, super proud of this, super happy. These chests all work too. And you might be like, well, how does that work? So we have backwards stairs which allows it to, because if this is a normal block, chest won't open. But we put backward stairs on it to then put the item frames on it. And now everything is stored. Everything makes sense. When I need something that's no longer looking through every single chest, like, what the heck? Bada bing, bada boom. I know exactly where everything is. This also took quite a bit of time, especially because we had to dig. I wasn't originally going to go down so far, but the royal bathhouse was conflicting. So we had to dig way deeper than we originally needed to to be able to get under it. But And lastly, to round it out, that's what we've been up to within the kingdom walls. But there's been something we've been up to outside of the kingdom walls. You might, might, well, what are you talking about? Let me show you. This is the reason why I am level 53 enchanting-wise, even though all I've been doing is building. Because most recently, I have built a specific building, a little ways outside of the kingdom one so we don't have to hear it or see it and you're gonna see right here i'm technically not done with it and i think eventually we're gonna have mine carts leading from the village here we'll wall the whole place it'll be like our own little tunnel but i tunneled through the hill to head on over to our tower the tower of experience it's this is an xp grinder i made a automatic xp farmer it's not a mob grinder but it actually works with smelting. So I'll show you. If you go up our nice little tower, that's right, you're going to start hearing it. It's obnoxious, which is why we had to build it up high enough. So I didn't have to listen to this all the time. But you'll see this interesting contraption. Technically, this is turned off. But I'll show you. Yeah, that was only one of them going. We have an automatic farm XP grinder. And the way this works, you might be like, what the heck? So somebody told me about this. And this wasn't of my own device. The tower and stuff I made so that it wasn't such an eyesore. Because you'll see here, it's been making dye. We have some sto stuff stored over there. Back in the storage room, we have a double chest completely full of the green dye. That's why you saw some of the green wool blocks. We have too much green dye. But the way this works, I pause this. So now the furnace has stopped feeding into this chest. Because as you'll see here, we currently have pistons shifting sand. And on top of the sand, we have cactus over there. And we have bamboo over there. And when it gets too high, the shifting the sand increases the grow rate. At too high, piston keeps shooting out with an observer. Hits that. Breaks that. Goes down to the hopper. Feeds into the chest. The chest feeds into these hoppers, which feeds into the furnaces. That goes the same for the cactus. The reason we have bamboo. Bamboo is our unlimited fuel source. And cactus is what we burn. We do that because it makes dye, which gives a decent amount of XP. So this hasn't been running for too long. But if I come over here, I do this, which stops it from sending it into this. Now what happens is the furnaces remember how much they've smelted, even though it technically isn't here. So when I go to grab this die, it's technically going to grab like the three or four stacks of XP that it's it's made, right? So you see level 53, I grab this, we'll level 54, which might not seem like that much, right? But I'm pretty sure the higher level you are the more diminished XP gains you get. So if we were a lower level, like that would have been, you know, just an insane amount. So we can head back down. I made a little puddle too that we can drop down faster. But I suppose if I make, like, probably maybe one day I'll try and make a mob grinder. I know people really like those. Um, I have no idea how to make them. 
but if I'm able to, I think I'll just make this like the the automized village. You know, I use cobblestone for this, by the way, just because I have way too much cobblestone. Um, but maybe this whole thing, the nice thing is it's close enough that I don't have to go too far, but also far enough that you don't see it from base. And that, my friends, is what I have been up to from day 100 to 200. I am hopelessly addicted to Minecraft. This is so much fun. I'm enjoying being creative. It's just a really nice, fun, creative outlet, which is why, like, as you can tell, I love building. I really like making something. I like doing it and knowing that, like, I made that in hardcore. You know, maybe in, like, a regular creative, like, oh, that's cool, I guess. But I did that in hardcore. Hardcore just makes everything more fun for me. And that, my friends, is the updated tour on the Fruit Kingdom. But what I want to have happen between now and the next update is I want to defeat uh, either the Ender Dragon or the Wither or both. I'll take both. Um, and then also start a villager farm. Those are the three things I want to tackle. Hope you guys are enjoying these updates. To those that do watch, remember, I'm doing this whole Let's Play over on Twitch. So to those that stop by, watch, support, appreciate that. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Farewell.